Hey guys, last week we made a cake stand and today we are going to make the birthday cake. You can find the materials in the description box below. Since I won't be slicing the cake, I will use a scrap clay to build the base. So take your scrap clay, mix and condition them well. Once you have conditioned the clay, flatten it using a rolling pin. I used this icing cup to create the flat round clay because I didn't have the right cookie cutter size. Then I removed the excess clay using an exacto knife by following the round line. Depending on the thickness of your clay sheet, you can cut between 3 to 5 round clay. Then you can stack the layers on top of each other. Smoothen the side of the clay using your finger until there are no seams and the sides are even. Pre-bake the clay and set it aside. Next, take your conditioned light pink clay and flatten it as thin and as wide as you can. Cut the flattened clay just enough to cover the round clay. Now, cover the round clay and spread the pink clay all around the round clay. Remember that the round clay is already pre-baked, so you will have the freedom to work on the pink clay without deforming the base. Then, remove the excess clay on the bottom of the base. To add the quilted effect, I mark the clay with a dot on the upper edge of the cake using a dotting tool. And each dot is around 5 millimeters apart. So, we will use the dots to guide us in making the slanted lines. Next, cut a piece of paper in a triangle shape that has the same height as the cake. So we are going to use the piece of paper as a ruler to create the slanted lines. So to make the lines, make sure that the tip of the triangle is pointing right on the dot. Then trace both sides of the triangle to create a nice straight line on the clay and then just continue doing this until you reach the last dot don't make the lines too deep because the lines are just temporary the effect should look like this To finalize the quilt effect, I used a steamroller to make the small dots. So I simply um, run it um, along the lines. So again, just keep on doing this until you um, have covered everything. And this is how it looks like. Next, add a much deeper and bigger dot on each corner of the diamond. So the dot should be just perfect for the micro beads to fit in. Dip the micro beads in the liquid clay and fit it in the small holes you made. The micro beads are made of metal so they are safe to bake. Again, just keep on doing the same procedure until you fill all the small holes with the micro beads. And here's how it looks like. So for now, set them aside. For the second layer, I used the leftover clay from the big cake and then used a smaller size cookie cutter. And don't forget to remove the excess clay. Do the same step you did on the first cake by stacking the round clay and then smoothing it with your fingers. 
and finally covering it with a pink clay sheet. Then I used a metallic gold eyeshadow to add shimmer on the cake. And also I didn't paint the whole cake but only on the top and the edges to give it an ombre-ish effect. After painting the cake, you can add a liquid clay and add this on top of the first cake. Then set it aside for now. Take another scrap clay and roll this to a long thin snake. Then fold the snake to half and twist it together like a rope. Try twisting it more until you are satisfied with how it looks like. If you want the rope to be skinnier, you can pull both ends outward. Wrap the clay rope around the bottom of the second layer to get the correct length before cutting the excess clay. After you have the correct length, you can remove it out and then you can paint it with the gold eye shadow. After painting the clay rope with gold eye shadow, you can add liquid clay around the sides of the second layer and then wrap the clay rope. For the second decoration, I used a jewelry wire and bend them freely. Then I took another scrap clay and made a dome shape so I could stick the wires on top of it. Then set it aside. For the last decoration, I am going to make a flower using a fondant plunger. So roll a white clay and flatten it really thin and then press the plunger and simply remove the excess clay. Add texture on the flower by adding straight lines on each petal. Then shade the inner part of the flower using a pink chalk pastel. Then press the flowers on the foam with a ball stylus to give it a nice shape. Next, I added the center of the flower by rolling small balls and adding texture using a sharp tool. Add a yellow shading on the small balls using chalk pastel. Add liquid clay on the yellow ball and add this in the center of the flower. Now take all your clay pieces and bake them completely. This includes the pre-baked pieces. After baking, take the wire decoration and paint it with gold including the base. Finally, glue the decoration on the cake. There's no right or wrong way of decorating it, just decorate however you want it. Be creative and use your imagination, and most importantly, have fun decorating your miniature cake. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more tutorials for the pink and gold birthday party scene project. Bye bye and see you next week.